make your ogoshi really, really fast, okay? Oh, oh, so this is a good one for beginners, right? A lot of the times you get right versus right from here. Right? If they're standing directly in front of you, you go here and then you turn all the way and now you see how the shoulder gets kind of extended? It's very, very difficult. So what I want to do is force him sort of into a lefty stance. Right, right, this is okay, right? As I'm going for this backhand, so okay, look, I force him into a right side versus left side. So essentially, our bodies are facing in the same direction. This is a very nice point because I can just slip my hip in here, right? And I can elevate really fast because the steps are much shorter, okay? As opposed to coming from here, he's facing, and I have to turn all the way over here. Now, a little trick on getting that belt grip in the first place. I see people all the time drilling it like this, right? You have a little right. Belt, right, 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 right? One, two, three, you're never gonna get that, okay? So a lot of the times you're adjusting, you're looking for the overhand, Looking for the Ippon Tenagi, diving under here, okay? From this position, it might be a little bit too far, so you go Kochi. And now this is the timing to go Ogoshi, okay? You're gonna pull forward, right? And whip it right over, right? And that's how you do a sort of a faster Ogoshi. I'm gonna throw my hips in, okay? As opposed to taking this huge step first and then bringing the back foot forward, I'm just gonna launch this back foot forward, and then shoot my hip in. Okay, I'm gonna take sort of a shuffle step. And as I do so, look, I'm gonna load him up and then whip him really fast with my arms. Okay, and then over here, Hoochie. Tip for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, sure. Man, I don't know what that. I think some.